to another session of Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I'll be sharing a quick watercolor card featuring the Builder of Flower Magnolia stem set. I went ahead and heat embossed the image from uh, the Builder of Flower Magnolia onto sturdy watercolor cardstock in golden peach embossing powder. And if I've uh, and I know I've mentioned it a lot of times, but the golden peach embossing powder is absolutely beautiful. This is something that you should definitely have in your stash. Well, I'll be using the Alter New watercolor brush markers to watercolor today. And in a minute, you will see how easy it is. I'll apply pigment from the Ruby Light watercolor brush marker in um, on some portions of the petal and add a bit of a midnight violet pigment as well. I'll make sure not to apply color to the portion that's closer to the flower center, that is the base of the petal. Okay, so you see it's super easy and there's also not a, a lot of thought that uh, goes into it except for keeping uh, in mind that uh, the bit near the flower center that has to be left blank for now. I apply color roughly using both uh, ruby light and midnight violet and then I take a water brush and dab the brush a few times to release a bit of water which will interact with um, the pigment on the cardstock and which in turn will allow the mixing of the two shades. Once I have the pinks in place, I'll add warm sunshine pigment on the base of the petal. Take the water brush again and dab a bit of um, it where the two shades meet. It's as simple as that. So apply pigment directly, dab with water brush and that's it. It's so easy. You don't even have um, to move the entire pigment with your water brush. Just dab, dab, dab and you will get a pretty um, result. Once you are done adding the color to the petals, if you think they still need more color or more concentrated shade or, or if you'd like uh, to add stippling, go ahead and add more pigment directly from the watercolor brush marker. For the leaves, I'll use moss and limeade watercolor and uh, I'll color the leaves and stem uh, the branch thing in the same manner. Once I'm done coloring, I'll fussy cut the image and set it aside. For the card front, I have this panel uh, from wood grain white sheet. You will find it at the Alter New store. It's a beautiful textured sheet with a wood grain pattern on it. I recently bought these uh, blending brushes that are quite good for ink blending. And especially if you're looking for something um, uh, softer and lighter. So I thought I'll um, ink an ombre background using this uh, blending brush and Volcano Lake um, dye ink. And it's actually, um, it actually turned out really good. It has been a while since I've achieved such a seamless ink background um, and I'm quite happy with it. The fine brush bristles also help move the ink in between the grooves, the wood grain pattern and it looks so cool. I tried not to overdo it and leave a lot of white space. Next I stemmed the sentiments and then I added few fine black paint splatters to complete the look. And that's it. My card is ready. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye.